Hey, everybody. Congratulations to Kate Scott, who becomes Philadelphia's first female sports broadcaster ever, ever. You should call the 76ers games. And the reason why I'm making this is that some of you are responding and saying, well, this is a woke decision and has something to do with politics and all the other meme type of tweets and short comments on social media that point to the kind of social media created divided society that we've become. But I am here to tell you why you are exceptionally, terribly wrong. First of all, this is Kate, as announced by Philadelphia Inquirer, NBC Sports Philadelphia, replacing Mark Zoom, uh, Zoom off, excuse me. And it goes on to report that she will call, be the first full-time female sports broadcaster of any major sport in Philadelphia television history. And folks, I'm not surprised because she was the first at a lot. And there's a paragraph here that runs it down almost as well as I can. And talking about how she was the first to call a college football for the Pac-12 networks, was a play-by-play -play voice for the first all-female NHL broadcast, and called basketball games from Tokyo Olympics and Copa for Fox, and was part of the all-female, the first all-female broadcast for the Golden State Warriors game that was in 2020. But you read that and you say all female and you think it's some sort of mission that's there on. But let me explain from my perspective as the person who actually discovered her talent, why that's not the case at all. Because what you're about to discover is pure and simple that Kate has always had an innate, God-given, then cultivated ability to watch a sports event and explain it back in clear and concise terms, but also dig deeper into why something occurred, why players do what they do, and this is really what sets her apart, what she thinks about it. Let me explain by way of this example you're about to see. What you're about to see here is her first video blog. This is a kind of trailer that we made um, right here in my makeshift uh, office in Oakland. And this is Kate on Sports as it was created. This is 11 years ago. 11 years ago. This is Kate. Kate on Sports is coming very soon, and it's going to be posted uh, on kateonsports.com. Whoa. Hey, so um, what... Kate on sports. So what issue are you upset about in sports? Are you? I mean, do you get... I'm upset right now. I'm usually not upset, but I'm pretty pissed off about this whole steroids issue and how it's just everywhere in sports. You're pissed off about steroid rage. I'm pissed off. Yeah. Oh, let's see those muscles. Yeah, come on. That's you know like, what? Yeah. I'm not taking steroids, but I'm pretty fed up with you. Uh, I'm not taking flex. steroids. Yeah, I don't believe I'm you. I'm sick come and on. tired yeah, of you. I'm like, tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh, don't make me pull these out of the shirts. Don't make me come next time in a t-shirt. Um, but I'm upset about the steroids issue, so that's going to be the topic of our first show. We're going to talk steroids, and it's coming out. First episode, kadonsports.com, coming very soon. And so we did that, and, and that, that explains something else. Those are the things that I, I had to do, but you had to do in new media to basically say, hey, look, stop and share this. What creates what we call now viral videos. But I had to do it quite often because people weren't paying attention to how talented she was then, but for a good reason. She'd never done that before. In fact, I'm the one who called her and asked her, hey, what do you think about trying this on video? I just have a feeling you'd be really, really good. And she never disappointed. And I tried every kind of angle to make sure she got noticed. And um, some of them worked. But what I'm saying to you right now, she's been through the mill. She's called some amazing, high-profile, historic games. But what I want people to understand and recognize isn't, is that it's not because she's a woman, okay? It's because she's damn good. And that talent has always been there, always. And it's a shame 
for anybody to want to take away how brilliant she is at what she does by saying, well, you're just a woman, you're getting a chance only because you're a woman, okay? No. When I said, hey, I think you'd be good at this, it wasn't because she is a woman. No. Again, this is k on Sports talking about Barry Bonds, and this is, excuse me, four, uh, 14 years ago. Listen to this. Guys. And where the heck are we? Uh, today, we're standing on a street in Berkeley. Berkeley. We're kind of just hovering near my car so I don't get a parking ticket because it's almost a two-hour time limit. So, yeah. thanks for joining us again. We're next to the International House. It's gorgeous here. A little too foggy in San Francisco, so we thought we'd come to the East Bay. But the story today is, is in San Francisco, Barry, right? Barry Bonds. Hmm? History. Hey, hold that up a little bit more. Okay, well, we'll hold this up. Okay. This is the more important one. That's that great. Awesome. Awesome. This is going to be a collector's item, whether you like yeah. it or not. I have them both right? at home. You have them both at home? I don't think Look I have that. this one. I thought the best part of him hitting it. The new king of swing. Yeah. All right. He has a pretty swing. I, th I thought the best part of him hitting it was the reaction that he had. Was that he just, his swing and then his arms went up and the whole stadium did the same thing with him. Just arms went up at the same time. That was good. Yeah, that was, it was, it was uh, the electric moment. Where were you when that happened? I was at work staring at a TV watching the Giants game. So I got to see it. I knew he was going to hit it. As soon as I heard it was 3 2 count, I was like, oh. Something big's gonna happen here. Now, ten, ten years from now, when he someone talks to you about this, what are you gonna yeah. say first? I think I'm gonna say I was close enough to hear the fireworks and feel the shaking as soon as it happened. I saw it on TV, and my opinion changed from about a year prior to a couple of days ago when Barry actually hit it to now, and that it was an amazing thing to be a San Franciscan when it happened. Um, you know, a year ago, my first ever K on Sports show talked about steroids and how I thought it was cheating, and I still do. But I've come to realize. The show where you beat me up? I think that was the show where I beat you up, knocked over the camera. Mm -hmm. But I've come to realize here's the thing a lot of people did it. Some people have been accused, some people have yet to be accused. Barry is still in the innocent category. You know, there's lots of fingers pointing at him and lots of reasons that we are led to believe. You know, he has grown in size and all that stuff. But the law here in the United States is innocent until proven guilty. And here's the thing. Commissioner Selig, as uh, great as he's been over the last few days with his hands in his pockets and not talking, doesn't he just look like an ass? He just looks like someone that you just want to beat up. He looks like Bill Gates in charge of baseball. Who the hell are you? Do you even know what baseball is? Okay, sorry, going off on Bud Selig. But coming back to the fact. Okay, McGuire was taking steroids, Sosa was taking steroids, or they were doing something. And America loved him because no one cared because baseball, sports are entertainment. That's what it's all about. And now all of a sudden, oh my gosh, there's this record. That is an amazing record. And Hank Aaron is an amazing guy. And his record is always going to mean something. Barry surpassing it does not take anything away from Hank Aaron. But... Baseball, Bud Selig, everyone could have done something about it, but they didn't do anything about it. So shame on you, Major League Baseball, for dragging your tail until this point, now that all of a sudden Barry is by himself. And we could easily bring race into this debate. There's no question that the majority of the fans that they've interviewed across the country that are pissed off that Barry broke the record or was going to break it were white. And uh, it was easy to see that a lot of the supporters were black. Like me. African American. Well, like me too. Oh, wait. But <laughs> we're not going to talk about race. We're just going to talk about the fact that Barry Bonds is an amazing, amazing baseball player. Yeah, he's been an ass to the media. Look at it now, though. The pressure is off, and he has turned into the nicest, smiling, family friendly baseball player all of a sudden the last two days. And that first inning yesterday, he hit 757 already. He's loose. The monkey's off his back. He did it with so much pressure. And how old is he now? 43? Yeah. I mean, the fact that he's even still playing, let alone hitting home runs the way he is, he's got a gorgeous swing. Barry, you are an amazing baseball player. 
And yeah, you've been an ass to the media. And that pissed me off as a member of the media. But not all athletes are nice. It just happens. So no asterisk next to the number. There's no doubt about it. Barry Bonds has set the new record. I'm clapping for you, Barry. My hat goes off to you. And you know, I, uh, about an hour after he hit the home run, I got a call from a guy in New York because I was working radio. And one of our reports hadn't gone through anyway. And, you know, he had the attitude already, even though a freaking guy from New York caught the ball. So Barry broke the record. What do you San Franciscans think of it? And you know what? We're not the only ones. All the fans in San Diego stood up and cheered when he hit 755 because at that moment, they realized this is really something. We're really a part of something. And yes, this era is always going to be known as the steroids era. But there's nothing we can do about that. If Major League Baseball wanted to do something, they would have, but they didn't. So stop acting like something's wrong. We're going to get over it. And hey, guess what? Alex Rodriguez hit number 500 a couple days ago. What do you think? Five years, he's going to be in charge. And then after him, someone else is going to hit more home runs. So this isn't a record that's going to be there for that long of a time, in my opinion. But anyway, stop giving Barry a hard time. He's an amazing baseball player. And just because he didn't play for your team doesn't have anything to do with us. Barry, great job. And also... We want to say goodbye and thank you to Bo Walsh, an amazing, just amazing man, you know. For someone who is a diehard Stanford guy, to get a girl who's a diehard Cal fan, to thank him <laughs> and to wish him well. You know, it was a sad day when we lost Bo Walsh. He brought so much to football with the West Coast offense. But more than that, I think his minority training program for the coaches, all the different coaches of all different races and backgrounds that he brought into football, he saw so far into the future he was so far ahead of everyone so bill thank you so much we're gonna miss you a lot and really looking forward to uh hopefully a good year for the 49ers in memory of you thanks for watching this episode of hey Kingdom what Sports. limo company do we use by the way that's right we use bowers just in case anyone is ever wanting to rent a limo in san francisco or around yeah, 1 800 limo out right 1 800 limo out yeah that's it We've got Hummers, hybrid Hummers. We've got lots of stuff going on. And so my point, you can see right there, that ability was there then. She cultivated it. And Philadelphia 76ers fans and Philadelphia sports fans are going to have a lot of fun listening to her. So this has nothing to do with being woke. This has nothing to do with, well, Okay, for me, yeah, it was in part a desire to want to battle back against some of the crap that she had experienced that she talked to me about that I'm not going to go into. And I think also may have impacted why she didn't go into YouTube where she could have made $100,000 as a vlogger earlier. She got a lot of bad advice early on, but all that's done. She's where she should be. She's where I thought she should have been a long time time ago, a long time ago. And I'm glad I can say, because obviously I have the receipts to prove it, that I'm the one who said, you know what? You can be a vlogger. You can talk about this in front of a camera. Don't pay attention to what anyone else says about you. You just go forth. Thank God she did. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com and back her. That's an order. Thanks.